In Indonesia, millions of hectares of peat swamp forest were drained to make the swamps suitable for logging and agriculture. The drained, carbon-rich peat soils decompose. The dried-up areas have become extremely fire-prone. This is what happened. For thousands of years, peat soils have built up in acid water without oxygen. When the area is drained, the water table drops, and suddenly the peat is exposed to the air. The dried up peat soil decomposes and drops 8 centimeters a year. Hundreds of tons of CO2 per hectare are emitted. Finally, these areas turn into wastelands. To all these devastating effects there is only one real solution. The drainage canals must be closed, so that the loss of water will be stopped. The peat soils will be rewetted and will stop subsiding. We have successfully uh, built 25 big dams and hundreds of small dams. This dam is very important to rise and maintain the surface water level along the canal itself. Second thing is to maintain and to rise or to keep the groundwater table as high as possible. So create a better condition for pit soil itself to keep it still wet moisturous and so on. Earlier, the canals were used by the local people as a means of transportation. Dams, of course, hamper such activities. Therefore, local communities had to be convinced at first that it was necessary to build the dams. At first time, uh, it's very hard for us to convince them to, do, uh, to build the dam because, uh, you know, the major canal system they use is for transportation of wood and uh, non-timber forest product. Uh, eventually, we successful to convince them to do that because uh, they see that uh, positive uh, impact of the building them. Dulu kanal ini kami pakai untuk transportasi mengambil hasil hutan seperti kayu atau gemur. Tapi awalnya kami dulu tidak tahu fungsi hasil tabat ini. Tapi sekarang setelah kami ikut membangun tabat. Nowadays, hundreds of dams in the project area are built by the local communities using traditional techniques. To build this biggest dam is easy way to do that and done by local people. So first of all, you just insert the timber poles like that in the row situation and afterwards you put the soil bags. Of course, thousands of soil bags in it until it's uh, compact enough and strong enough to hold the water. By building dams, the people in the area change their livelihoods. They lose an easy means of transport and cannot grow crops that need drainage anymore. But at the same time, they gain an economic alternative to their lives. The project provides them with commercial crops that can grow because of the dams. This is a uh, jelutung seedlings and also some blangiran seedling and also again jelutung seedlings. So we teach uh, local people how to produce this kind of seedling from the jelutung seed. We collect it from the wild situ uh, wild condition. Kalau pohon pisang pisang yang saya punya itu kira-kira ya 100 pohon lah kurang lebih. Kalau setahun ya diperkirakan dia ya per bulan lah. Dulu itu bisa 100 sampai 150 ribu satu bulan itu yang menemnya. Ya bisa untuk menghidupi keluarga lah. In addition, the blocked canals are used for fishing. Cukup baik itu. Penghasilannya lumayan gitu. Setelah ada tabat gitu, era ditutup semua itu. Jadi ikan-ikannya itu tuh, bertahan di atas tabat itu. In three years, the project regreened 60,000 hectares, reducing yearly CO2 emissions by 4 million tons. Last year we built one dam here, and you see the situation now become green and this proved to us that the dam is an effective means to restore the degraded peatland. <laughs>